Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, let's continue. In the last episode, we defeated a boss and we um, went looting the castle and we managed to grab ourselves... Oh, that's not great. We managed to grab ourselves a good chunk of items which we may or may never use again. And um, here's me getting absolutely creamed by these Valhalla Knights. These guys kind of suck, in all fairness. Can we turn back into Alucard, please? Thank you. And I forgot that I have this rather useless ability. It's fine, I guess, but certainly not my favorite. These uh, knights really do like to kick your ass. At least they kick my ass anyway. Right, so before we move on to the next part of the game, we're going to go this way and we're going to go grab a, another permanent upgrade and unlock a buff tunic. We're not going to use that. And unlock a shortcut. In truth, I don't actually know. Oh, holy water. Much better. I don't actually know if this is a shortcut, but opening up extra ways through the castle are only going to be beneficial to us later on in the game. And this is kind of an annoying one. This one really does connect the midsection of the castle up quite nicely. Come on. There we go. Now, knowing my luck, we're never actually going to use this shortcut, but that's fine. At least it's open. Better to open it up and never need to use it than to, you know, want to use it and realize that you've forgotten it, which has definitely happened uh, to me on a playthrough of this game before. At least the early stages of the game, anyway. So now, now we have the form of bat, we need to start heading deeper underground. And our next boss is kind of an interesting one. We have to fight the succubus. Now, I'm not going to fight these Valhalla knights again. I don't think they're worth a incredible amount of experience, to be honest. And unless you have some kind of ranged combat weapon, they're kind of sucky to fight. Grab up as much money as we possibly can. I think we've got some library cards. Or at least we've got a library card, so we can always return back to the shop when we need to. Um, Holy Water isn't going to be much cop, actually, in our next fight, but it doesn't matter. The next boss is pretty weak and fragile, to be honest. Although, it is one of my favorite bosses in the game. All right, let's plummet to our hopefully not death. Excellent. Um, and continue down. Down into the bowels of the castle. There's some good stuff down there, I promise. Oh, hello. Forgot about you. Oh, holy water is just so OP. <laughs> it's just mad. Absolutely mad. I'm sure the Bible has its uses, and I don't just mean toilet paper, but it doesn't seem to be one of the most useful sub-weapons. And um, you can get the salt as well, I think it's like sacred salt or whatever. That doesn't seem to be super useful either. But it's possible that they have uses against certain enemies that I just am not aware of. Because this game has quite a lot of mechanics. Get rid of these Skellerangs. Oh, you survived my holy water. Must have been a bad batch. There we go. He didn't. <laughs> there you go, friend. You look a little bit thirsty. Suck on that. Oof. I wonder who's arming all of these bats. Or arming all these skeletons with these uh, boomerangs anyway. This is a very bizarre castle. And it certainly leaves me with a lot more questions than it does answers. Alright, back at the clock tower. 
Let's keep moving. Now you remember, um, previously we opened up a downward hole. And we said we'd be coming back to that later. Well, now is later. Yeah, this weapon as well, like, it fires like a light beam that bounces and ricochets off surfaces. It doesn't seem to be that useful to me at all. In fact, it seems to rarely hit the enemies. Now we have our fairy still following us, who must be actually leveling up quite nicely. Now this blood cape as well is incredible. It's just keeping us completely stocked of hearts because, uh, you know, I'm doing my best to screw up at every opportunity. Excuse me, sir. Oh, he's dead now. Now, fresh untrod territory. Let's keep going down and seeing what we come across. A CD loading corridor, apparently. All right. Now, up here is a Zircron, which I suppose is not actually that useful at all. But we'll have it. Oh, you little sod. These spear guards. Well, there's a special place in hell for them. Let's just say that. They really do. Screw you over. Now, we can go this way and find ourselves some nice Brucey bonuses. And we like our Brucey bonuses. So our first thing is a maximum heart upgrade. But wait, there's more. We also have a bandana. Now, I don't actually know what the bandana does. It seems to drop our initiative down. And that's basically it. I do need to start looking up what some of these uh, extras do. It looks like the topaz circlet is probably... Well, it gives us a bit of armor, I suppose. Whereas that raises our initiative. Well, that could be intelligence, I suppose. I'm guessing that's our attack damage. Also, um, if we get poisoned, it increases our health instead of lows it. So, you know what? We'll keep that for now. Okay. Moving on. Out of the way, maggot. Now, we're not going to be going down that hole just yet. We have business further down this way. Just going to continuously avoid these guys whilst they do their best to jab us in the arsehole. 100 bucks, we'll take it. 400 bucks, we'll take that too. We do like money in these parts. God damn it. I don't know if the uh, stop time effect actually works on the next boss, so we're not going to bother. Just going to go with the holy water. And the holy water absolutely does not work. We get the claymore, which is a powerful two handed weapon. Um, you know, maybe that thing might be good against the next boss. Might try it. See what happens. I don't suppose we have too much to lose. Let's see what you have. Just hearts. I guess these aren't really worth harvesting. Now in here, we have some goodies. We have meal tickets. I believe meal tickets allow you to get free food from the shop. I'm not sure if it's a specific item or if you can choose. Now, this moonstone improves status after sunset. Uh, yep. It massively increases pretty much everything that we have. 
I think we're going to put that on and override the Mystic Pendant. I'm not sure when specifically um, it's after sunset. Is the whole game after sunset? I'm not sure, <laughs> but whatever. It massively increases our stats, so we're going to go stick that bad boy on. Now, if we come this way, we have a, a save space. And we are absolutely going to be taking advantage of that bad boy. And now, let's go bury another foul demon. Demon most foul, if you will. Now we enter the nightmare. Now this bit is wicked. Mother! That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I'd gladly surrender my life. Hmm. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? Hmm. <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. A gothic Demon. mummy. Death is too oh good my. <laughs> Come here, little boy, and show me what you've got. Mm-hmm. Well, so here we have the succubus. And she's not that strong, to be honest. She's just going to keep whipping her ass up in the air. Her attacks are pretty easy to avoid. And she doesn't ever seem to be much of a threat, I'm going to be honest. Now that is an annoying ability that she will use. She will have just turn herself into loads of copies. And I don't know if there's a specific way of finding out which one is the real succubus. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to keep slapping them all anyway. Oh, you bitch. We're just going to keep working her over. It'd be nice if we had some way of dispensing with all of these. And maybe there is. Oh, also these can't be blocked. And of course, Let's Play as Curse, <laughs> I'm getting absolutely annihilated by these. Whereas when I was practicing this off camera, uh, I think she hit me like three times, something like that. And that's being generous. Oh, there we go. Very weak. Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be... That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. Death in the dream world will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait, I beg of you. Ah! Yeah, even for demon scum, she gets it pretty hard. And that gives us the gold ring. Gold ring is a very important item that we're going to be using later. Anyway, uh, yeah, so as demons go, she gets shafted pretty badly. I mean, her soul is left wandering the abyss for eternity with, I'm guessing, zero hope for any kind of salvation. That's, I mean, pretty extreme, I'm going to be honest, but whatever. She's a succubus, so... 
She deserves nothing more. I guess. Anyway, let's start heading back this way. And we're going to head down the other road. And there's some nice little Brucey bonuses that we can get as well. Which we'll certainly grab along the way. Now, if I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do, we can just drop straight down without too much to worry about. There is a shiitake mushroom here somewhere. Somewhere. Hmm, I think it's up above us. Now, the mushrooms are just healing items. I think they're like okay healing items as well. I'm sure there was one here somewhere. Strange. Maybe not. Alright, whatever. Not gonna worry about it too much. Now, if we go this way, I think, yep, we've got a safe space. So, smoke them if you got them. Now we're actually in the hellish abyss. There's a few bosses down here. But we're going to start exploring this way. Ah, there's our mushroom. And there's another mushroom. Now, I don't think they're like the best healing items in the game. But, you know, they're okay. And uh, with our ank that we have... They'll actually heal us twice as much. Which is nice. Son of a... Son of a... You dick. Absolute dick. And this is why I love having the fairy equipped. Because she's just really useful. Now, if we head on through here... We should find... Some kind of permanent power-up. I think it's... I can't actually remember what it is, to be honest. I know it's something worthwhile. Ah, it's health. Excellent. And health is what we want. I like the way all of these artifacts are on pedestals. Now we can head straight up there. Um, there isn't actually anything up here. It just completes the map. So I guess we might as well. Otherwise it's going to irritate the hell out of me. And I guess we can get a little bit of experience along the way. However, I think we are at the point where we're kind of overpowered. To the point where these enemies aren't really worth fighting. So how much XP have we got? So we've got 24. Yeah. These enemies are giving us 1 XP. Leveling up to 100 in this game must be excruciatingly painful. Itch. Uh, needless to say, I don't intend on doing that. Oh, nice. Caught him on the back attack there. Now... I do wonder why Holy Water doesn't hurt Alucard. Then I guess he's not exactly bathing in the stuff. And we missed a magic missile. Which is really unfortunate. But whatever. Doesn't matter. I can't envision us actually ever using a magic missile. Now, where are we at? Almost there. And this should link... Yep. Everything's linked up now. Um, oh, we go up, actually. Hey, guys. Hey, fellas. Have a bath. A bath in cleansing holy acid. Which I'm pretty sure is what it must feel like. You know what? Screw that guy. Ah. Hang on a minute. Ah, perfect save room and not a minute too late so guys i'm gonna leave it there 
when we come back, we're going to go back down and continue exploring the underground. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.